so I'm here again. I think this is going to work out just great. This is the part of the show when we ask the top pro to help us poor mortals improve our disc golf game. This week, we're real lucky to have four-time women's world champion Juliana Corver. Juliana, thanks for being here. Thank you, Brian. Now, our lie, unfortunately for us, is right here. Right. We're just into the rough on the right-hand side of the fairway. Now, I think when we stand behind the disc, we'll see that we're not able to show, throw a normal shot here. In front of me, all I see are the trees. Over here, more trees, underbrush. I can't throw my normal shot. I need to somehow get some distance between myself and everything over here on the right. So tell me, Juliana, maybe a couple of different ways which people might try to get out of the situation and then show us what you recommend. Okay, well, I guess if you're really lucky and you can throw <laughs> a left-handed sidearm, that would be ideal. But I don't know anybody that's that good that they have both right and left shots um, on demand like that. There are few people that can throw righty and lefty. Um, you may see somebody trying to do a big straddle, kind of bring it across their body like this. Uh, but at this point, we're 150 feet out, and that would be yeah, tough to get that distance. that's absolutely out of the question for me. And I would guess you wouldn't see too many of the strong men throwing that way either. Really, all I see here, the only option I see is uh, what we can call a turnaround shot, which means our back is actually going to be towards the basket the way that we want to throw. So this isn't some crazy run-up 360 turnaround. No. You're talking about your back facing the target. Okay. Right, exactly. We're going to plan our feet, and they're not going to move. Sometimes you'll see people throwing this shot with both feet on the line so that their both feet are perpendicular to the basket. Mm -hmm. I do not recommend this. For one, as you're throwing, inevitably, you're going to lift your heel, your back heel up. Which is a football. Exactly. I'm, I'm a full foot away from my mini at this point. So what I recommend is to put your back foot pointing directly away from your target. Now, as I stand here, well, first of all, I've got a lot more balance than the previous method. But also, as I stand here, my weight is on the back heel. So I'm not going to lift that heel up because that's my supporting point. Ah, OK. I follow you. Also, make sure you keep that down as you're throwing and don't come through and lift your entire foot off the ground either. Keep that, keep that on the ground point. so that it's a legal throw. So front foot facing straight out this way, perpendicular to my target, back foot facing away from my target. Now my shoulders. I want to, actually I just want to plant this foot and forget about it. Now I want to imagine that I'm throwing a normal shot, any other upshot. The way I would do that is I would point my shoulders towards the basket. So I'm going to try to get my shoulders on that same line. Now my arm, normally your arm comes across your body. If we were doing a normal shot, my arm would be coming across the body this way. Mm -hmm. Well here, we're pretending that we're facing the basket this way. So our arm needs to come on a line that goes straight towards the basket. Now, let me stop you here, Juliana, because when I see a lot of players trying to make this shot, they end up either well left or well right of where they intended. What's causing that? A lot of times that's caused by a roundabout throw. If, if you're in this position and you, when you bring your arm back, if you cross that line, bring it back here, now if I go straight, I'm going to go way off to the left. If I realize that I've got to hold on to it longer, then who knows when you're, going to when you're supposed to let go. Exactly. So it's really important. You've got to go on that line straight to the basket. OK. So we're, where are we at here? Well, we got our feet. We got our shoulders. We got our arm. Um, another thing, uh, it's really good to step out here and to look what I'll, I'll set the disc in the air. This is where I'm going to be releasing it. I set it there and I come back and I look just to see how much room I have, uh, just to see what the line is actually 
the line that I actually want to hit. Uh, if you're doing a normal upshot, you see this line. But back here, you don't see the line. So you should really come out, take a look. Oh, okay, well, I've got that slanted tree right here. I need to hang it out a little bit farther and hopefully have it come back in and slide under the basket. So you're truly getting that mental picture well before you even take your final stance. Exactly. Another thing to remember is keep the disc flat. When you're pulling it through on that line, try to keep that line as parallel to the ground as you can, as flat as possible. If you start getting the nose up, you're going to lose your accuracy. Or if you yank it over, again, going to lose your accuracy. We're not trying to do anything fancy here. We're just trying to get it straight advanced towards the target. Should I give it a try? Yes, please. Nice. So that is the turnaround approach shot. Juliana, can you quickly recap the points you made? Sure. Number one, see how far your arm comes out, come behind it, look at that line. It's a different perspective from here than it is when you're actually in that stance. So check your line. Number two, the stance. Put your left foot, your left heel, directly behind the marker and point that foot away from the basket. Make sure you don't bring this foot up when you're throwing. Your right foot perpendicular to the basket. Number three, your shoulders. Turn them so that, that they're on that line to the basket. Number four, your arm. Bring it straight through. Again, stay on that line. You're not going to bring it across your body this way. You're pretending that you're standing right here like a normal upshot. Keep it straight on that line. And the last one is keep that disc flat. And if you can master those points, you too can master the turnaround approach shot. And if you're looking for more tips from four-time women's world champion Juliana Corver, Juliana Corver's Keys to Winning Disc Golf. It's a new video coming out soon. And Juliana, when can we expect to see that in stores? You can expect to see that by Christmas time. And if people want more information on that or just more information about you in general, where can they go? You can go to my website, and that's at innovadisc.com slash Juliana. And could you please show us this shot one more time? Sure.